Hello, everyone, and welcome inside the WLBM Newsroom. With your WLBM News Weekend Update, I'm Vin Ebenu. Monmouth County investigators have made an arrest of one of the suspects involved in the 2017 Homedale home invasion robbery of David Canton and his fiancée Claudine Dina Manzo, an actress on The Real Housewives of New Jersey show. James Minello of Bayonne faces multiple charges, including robbery and aggravated assault stemming from the incident on Banyan Boulevard. Manello, along with a co-defendant, bound the victims after beating Canton and then robbed them both of cash and jewelry. As Tom's River schools continue their fight to prevent state aid cuts that would hurt the district for years to come, they have a powerful ally in Ocean County Prosecutor Bradley Bilheimer. The prosecutor penned a letter to Governor Phil Murphy this week expressing concern for what a lack of aid will do to the school district. Bilheimer is particularly concerned that the elimination of extracurricular activities and athletic programs will cause a rise in juvenile delinquency in Tom's River. You can read his full letter to the governor on our WLBM mobile app. Stafford police say they know who's behind a rash of car burglaries and thefts, but they need your help finding out where he is. Kevin Cunningham of Port Monmouth was captured on surveillance footage getting out of a 2002 Jeep Liberty. He's wanted for a number of burglaries in the Ocean Acres section that took place between March and April. His photo is on the WLBM mobile app. The former treasurer of the Toms River Elks Lodge, who pled guilty to theft, has been sentenced to five years in prison for misappropriating more than $119,000 from the Elks over the course of three years. Christine Wilbert had been accused of writing checks to herself and recorded them in the Elks accounting software as charitable payments. Jersey Shore Congressman Chris Smith doesn't like what he found following an internal review by the college and campus where Braden Bradforth of Neptune died last summer on his second day on campus of a heat stroke following football practice. Smith said that the summary done by Garden City Community College lacks answers to key questions about how and why he died and that it raises more questions than provides answers. Congressman Smith this week joined the other New Jersey delegates in coming together to push for an external investigation into the death of Braden Bradforth. The post-political days are becoming charitable days for former New Jersey Lieutenant Governor Kim Guadano. Fulfill, formerly the Food Bank of Monmouth and Ocean Counties, has announced that Guadano will be their new CEO and president starting on Monday. The Monmouth County resident and former Monmouth County Sheriff is also currently the president of the 200 Club of Monmouth County, which provides financial aid to families of first responders killed or disabled in the line of duty. Suez water crews are set to get started on a project to replace about 1,800 feet of aging water main in Tom's River. Crews will be working along Waterline Road, Lakehurst Road, Highland Parkway, and West Water Street on weekdays between 7 a.m. and 5 p.m. There will also be work done that will impact the parkway near exit 81 over the next couple weeks. Work is expected to be done by June 30th. Have you ever wanted to grow a garden but didn't have the space in your yard to do so? Tom's River officials are renting out 10 plots in the community garden at Riverwood Park with space to grow plants. If you're interested in learning more, check out the details on the WLBM mobile app. Stay tuned to WLBM all weekend long for all the latest Jersey Shore news, weather, and traffic. And don't forget to download the 92.7 WLBM mobile app. It's free. And you can get all the latest details and stories and weather and traffic all in the WLBM app right at the tap of your fingers. I'm Vin Ebenu with your WLBM News Weekend Update.